because I had so much company and my mother was a teacher, my father had just died uh, a year before and she was very lonely, but we needed her. I just felt like we needed her. She was a spirited woman and we needed help. And she uh, was a teacher and so the general conference made arrangements with my mother to come over and teach the children on the compound. By this time, the Sturges had returned and there were three, there were six children uh, that needed to have schooling. The l others were too small yet. So anyway, um, Mama came over, sent over by the General Conference, but then she supported herself on Social Security. And that was possible because money went further in Nepal with the American dollar. So Mama came and um, she was also a practical nurse. And so she was very interested in the hospital. So she taught the children and it was during her time that our son Danny was brought into the home because that's our Nepali son, because she kept worrying about him. Now, who's going to bring him up? And I said, well, the, the her, hospital nurses are going to. And <laughs> she kept worrying about him. And finally, as you know by the story from my husband, the children just got Danny into our home, and he is still our son in America here. But that was years ago. But Grandma Osgood was a strong influence. She never learned Nepali, but she was absolutely loved, especially by the girls. And so she was a wonderful asset. And she actually, after we left Nepal and went to India, when my husband went into the division office as the medical man for the Southern Asia Division, uh, Mama stayed on in Nepal. And um, she was there 13 years, and we were there almost 10. But anyway, um, this elderly lady in her 60s and into her early 70s had brought up a young man named Bajaram Shrestha that she took a great interest in. And with her funds, and then she inherited some money from a, a relative, she sent him to, to um, Spicer Memorial College. I wish we could tell that story. He can tell his own story. He's one of the most influential Nepalis in Nepal today. He walks over hill and dale, preaching in so many of the different uh, little scattered churches. And he was sent as a delegate to this last general conference. And um, my mother, if she were still living, would be very happy and proud that of, of the son, her Nepali son that she brought up and taught so many things and he owes so much to her and she will be thrilled to see him when Jesus comes again.